Today, we're gonna to cover the top five high schools in San Antonio, Texas. So whether you have a high school kid or not, it doesn't matter. By the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you why it's super important that you live in a home or you buy a home that's gonna be in a great school district. So stay tuned to the very end because I will cover that information for you. We're gonna start off with number five right off the bat, and that is the Churchill Chargers. Churchill High School is located in North Central San Antonio, right outside of Loop 410. It is one of the older schools. I remember growing up, I did not go to Churchill. I went to another school, which we're not going to talk about today, but I went to a different school and I always heard about Churchill. I heard about the academics. I heard about the sports that I've heard about the students that went there. And trust me, as a young child, as a high school student, I wished I would have gone to Churchill. It is one of the older high schools in San Antonio, but niche.com rated it an A. And that's very important, right? Because in San Antonio, not all schools are alike. And especially ones that are so close to the inner city, they rarely rank an A rating. So you kind of have to go further on out uh, of the city in order to get A rated schools. That's not the case for Churchill. Now, if you buy a home near Churchill, what is there to do? Well, if you're an outdoors person, there's Phil Harburger Park uh, where you can go out. It's a big park. It's got a dog park. It's got trails, has a basketball court. There's just all kinds of things that you could go out there and do. If, you know, you want to connect with nature, you're just minutes from the airport. So about three to four minutes from the airport. So if you're a jet set kind of person, you like to travel, it's going to be easy for you to commute to the airport, which is about a three or four minute drive and then you're off on your way to explore the world. So in the mornings, you could start off your morning by going to one of the local coffee shops. It's called Black Rock Coffee. It's located on Blanco Road where Churchill High School is and West Avenue. It's the intersection, you can't miss it. If you want a great cup of joe, go to Black Coffee, start your day off well. And if you have children that like to play golf, there's actually a miniature golf nearby. It's called the Monster Miniature Golf. So my son is actually having his birthday party in a couple of weeks at Monster Golf. It is a cool little place. And the, the lights are darkened and everything's neon and there's monsters, ghosts and goblins and uh, all that stuff. So it's a really great theme miniature golf place. And they also have laser tag and some video games. So those are some things that you're gonna find while living in that community. So the school itself offers some magnificent programs. It has a theater program. It has a visual arts program and music program, which is really good. Their sports teams also go to state championships, the state level competition. So everything in Texas is about football and Churchill High School is no different. So they do offer some dual credit courses and some advanced placement uh, curriculum. So you're not going to be uh, disappointed with their educational program. I actually put the link down below so you can search each of these high schools and get all the information that you need. There's just so much that I, I can't cover it all, right? So I need you to go down there, hit that link, go research the high school that best fits you. And then if you want to buy a home in that area, I'm happy to report that this is probably the lowest of all the high schools and the average home price is going to be about $375,000. Hi, my name is Jesse Lopez. I'm the owner of Blue Utopia Realty here in San Antonio, Texas. I'm a real estate agent that helps people just like you when you're relocating to San Antonio. You see, I spent 23 years in the military and I moved all over the world. And a lot of the times I just did it wrong. I didn't know what to do. There wasn't resources. I didn't have a YouTube channel I can go and watch to find out what the next city was like. So that is one of the main reasons I developed this channel. I want to be able to be a resource to you. I want to be able to help you and get you settled into San Antonio. We do things like provide video tours. We give you the real truth. We don't try to sell you. We try to put you wherever you and your family are going to best fit in San Antonio. Because believe it or not, it does matter where you live. Now a home, we could find you a home anywhere. The home's just a home, right? It's a structure, but a lifestyle and a way of living, that's something that you and your family deserve. So if that's the kind of information that you're looking for in this channel, you found the right channel. Hit the subscribe button down below, tap on that bell so you're notified every single time I put out a new video. Trust me, we get phone calls from people like you every single day and we absolutely love it. So don't be shy. Give us a call. Send us a text. Send us a smoke signal. We'll answer them all. 
All right, so now we're gonna go into the Clark Cougars, which is number four. Now, Clark High School is located kind of northwest of San Antonio, right upside IH-10 and Loop 1604. Some places that are around there that you might be familiar with is the University of Texas at San Antonio, and you have also Fiesta Texas or Six Flags Fiesta Texas, which is an amusement park. Now, if you like shopping, you're gonna love this place because La Cantera is right outside the Loop 1604 and the rim is right outside uh, 1604 and IH10. Now these two are just some mega places to go shopping. If you like Bass Pro Shop, if you like Louis Vuitton, if you like just anything, you like the Yard House, you wanna go eat there. Actually, my wife and I, we frequent the Marlin Bar, which is La Cantera. It's a, uh, it's a bar slash restaurant right outside of Tommy Bahamas. And of course, they want you to feel good. They want you to get that island vibe. And then you're gonna walk into the store and buy shirts. Like I can't tell you how many Hawaiian shirts I have because we just go there. It's kind of a ritual that we have every Sunday. We go hang out. One of my best friends actually plays the guitar and plays music. He does a great job. If you get a chance to go to La Cantera, not only is the shopping phenomenal, the food is great and the just the atmosphere. It's an outdoor mall that offers a ton of uh, high-end stores. You'll absolutely love it. On the opposite side is the rim. So the rim is where the uh, Bass Pro Shops is at. And then there's a restaurant that you have to try as well. I, I recommend it, highly recommend it. It is called Mi Familia, which is Spanish for my family. And they treat you like family. You go in there, you get to eat some Mexican food. And the family that owns this restaurant owns several restaurants in San Antonio, especially downtown. Um, so you, you're not going to be disappointed. Go in there, have some food, have some, you know, have a good time. If you're into golf, Top Golf is right up the road. You can go out there, take a swing at some golf balls and, you know, have fun, hang out with your friends and family, enjoy some good food and libations, and you'll be good to go. Oh, there's this one other place. It's called Chicken and Pickle. If you like pickleball, I know that's all the craze now. There's a, a place located right there, right by Clark High School that you can go. So... Clark High School, it isn't a surprise that they actually have a medical program that they partner up with the hospitals that are right not right down the road. So the medical center is on the other side of IH10. They do partner up for their educational programs. So they do have a lot of medical programs that uh, kind of are built into the curriculum. It is also rated an A by niche.com. So you'll know that you're in a good place if you move into this neighborhood. So just like the other high schools, Clark High School has a phenomenal theater program, an orchestra program. Uh, they also offer certifications for things like architecture and construction, uh, law enforcement and public safety. So those are just, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Again, there's a link down below. Do me a favor, hit that link, go explore, go see what those schools have to offer. And also, I'm gonna put my website down below. Go into that website. When you're ready to look for a home, you can actually go to Clark High School Homes, click that button, and it's gonna take you and it's gonna show you all the homes that are available. So now, how much do the homes cost there? Well, they average about $400,000 per per house, right? So that's the average, not per house, that's the average price point is $400,000. So it's a little bit more than Churchill and we're starting to go a little bit further away from the center of downtown. So homes are gonna get a little bit more expensive. If you don't know this already, San Antonio is like two big rings. You have uh, 410 and then the outer ring is Loop 1604. So the further out you go from 410 and 1604 and you go north, the more expensive homes are going to get. And you're going to see that because we're going to get to it in the next one. But if you're moving to San Antonio and you just have no idea where you're going to fit or where you should live, do me a favor, watch this video right here. This is the 10 most dangerous neighborhoods in San Antonio. And it's only 10, right? It was a report put out by areavibes.com. I did a video on it. It took, it took off like wildfire. And, uh, you know, people just want to know where not to live. So if that's you and you're moving to San Antonio, do me a favor, give me a call. It is worth just a call for me to tell you, hey, look, this is where I would live, right? And kind of go more in depth on that report. So don't be afraid, give me a call, 
send me a text. Again, send me a smoke signal. I'll answer them all. The next high school is, like I said, a little bit further north, and it's actually outside of Loop 1604 in the Stone Oak area, and that is Johnson High School. So the Johnson Jaguars, rated A by Niche.com, is one of the most premier high schools that are around right now. Like a lot of people really love Johnson High School. As a matter of fact, I've been showing homes the last couple of days to a client, and the very first thing they told me was, Jesse, it needs to be in Johnson High School. I'm not gonna tell you the other two because one of them is on the list, the other one is not. But they're like, if it's not in Johnson High School, we don't wanna see it. And I was like, okay, I got you. So we are out, today is the third day. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm gonna hit the streets and we're gonna look at the rest of the homes in that neighborhood. That way they can get into the high school that is very desirable. So Johnson High School is number three. Right. So what does Johnson High School offer? So Johnson High School is no different than any other high school in San Antonio or in Texas, for that matter. The sports curriculums are phenomenal. Everybody's about football, basketball, you know, and all those things. But they also have a very strong robotics program, which, boom, it would blow my mind if I was in high school and somebody said, hey, you want to do a robotics program? I'd be like, what are you talking about? But they do. They have a robotics program. And the number one school, if you stick around, is also has a robotics program. And it's it's a great school. We'll get to that one here soon. So don't, don't give up on me. Stay here. So let's talk about the area around Johnson High School. Well, if you haven't watched this video right here, this video covers Stone Oak. And Stone Oak is a master plan community that covers so much. Do you like golfing? You have the TPC San Antonio there. You have two other golf courses right nearby. So if you like golfing, if you like running, walking, jogging trails, there's a Stone Oak Trail. Do, do me a favor, watch that video on Stone Oak because it covers it so much more in depth. So some of the programs that Johnson High School is very strong is, is in choir, it's in theater, so a very art-centric, but also science-centric. Uh, again, there's just so many things about this school that I can't tell you, I can't tell you enough. Hit the link below, check it out for yourself. You can peruse the, the website. It's a real easy website to look around. You'll see all the programs, you'll see all the athletics, and you know they do go to a higher level uh, competition. So that's Texas in general. If you're coming to Texas, if you're coming to San Antonio, just be ready because we love our sports and we love our schools, right? So other things that you can do around there uh, I already mentioned the outdoor things. You can go to the Stone Oak Nature Trail. Uh, there's also shopping. Um, there's just so many things. You just go up 281. You're there in Northern San Antonio in the Stone Oak area. If you need to get to the airport, that's about a maybe an eight minute drive down 281 and you're right smack in the airport. You can jump on a plane, go take care of business, go visit family, whatever it is that you do whenever you get on an airplane and leave San Antonio. But Stone Oak is one of the most coveted places and actually on my website, which the link is down below, I have some of the most desirable communities where you can go search those. All you gotta do is get on the website, scroll just a little bit down, and all the desirable communities are gonna be there. And by the way, I've done videos on most of those communities, so if you're not if you're not a subscriber, keep watching, watch the next video and the next video, because that's what I do. I actually take you out into the streets and I show you the homes, I talk about the amenities, I talk about everything from crime, from housing data, from all that. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed yet or you're not a subscriber, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, and at minimum, you know, Give me a comment, give me a like, share these videos so other people who are moving to San Antonio can get to know me and get to see the information that I'm giving now. So the next school, number four, is the Reagan Rattlers. So the Reagan Rattlers is also a high school that's in Northern San Antonio. It's right next to Stone Oak. It services Stone Oak and it services, I think, Timberwood Park as well. Johnson High School was kind of built because there was such an overflow going to Reagan High School 
that they had to build a second high school, basically. So Stone Oak and Northern San Antonio has just been booming. And everything that I just said about Johnson High School, as far as the amenities, the shopping, watch the video. Watch the video of Stone Oak. You'll get more in-depth information. Uh, great place to live. And the, the homes there are going to average about five hundred thousand dollars that's going to get your foot in the door of course you can buy homes up to the millions uh whatever your heart desires there is also some apartment living and uh very little townhomes and condos but it's either single family home or you're going to live in an apartment off of 281 but reagan high school again is in stone oak a lot of people there it's a great community people just flock there the uh, link to, to reagan high school is just down below as well in the video description click on it go look at it uh, take a look if you have questions about any of these schools absolutely any of these schools or the areas that's what i'm here for i'm the subject matter expert i've lived in san antonio the majority of my life and the only time i moved away was when i was either in iraq or afghanistan or serving my country in a different state but i know this place like the back of my hand that's why i love doing these videos and showing you these communities because i just want to show you my city i love san antonio it's a great place so congratulations that you're moving to san antonio and even if you're not buying a house even if you're buying a house and you don't want to use me that's okay call me like i want to share my information because this is such a great place to live in so now we get to the number one high school what are you thinking so far though before i tell you the number one high school is this information is it okay is it good uh if you would like to see more information or maybe you go to the website and you take a look at the website and there's something not there please do me a favor uh my website website designer will put it in there like he is phenomenal uh he he grew up really well he has a great father that's me. It's actually my son. He designs my website. So uh, thank you for, for that, Jesse. His name's Jesse as well. But uh, anyway, if there's anything missing on that website that you want to see that makes it easier for you to search, then do it. Like just send me a text, send me an email, let me know because I want to make sure that you have the best experience possible. And by the way, did I mention that my website is in real time? So if you go to Zillow or you go to, you know, Trulia.com, Redfin, or any of those, those are not real time because they get the information from our uh, MLS and then it takes sometimes some days for it to update. So you might be looking at homes that are outdated. So jump on my website, the link's down below. It's actually called blueutopiarealty.com. Go take a look and uh, let me know how we're doing, okay? So, all right, the number one high school now, the number one high school is, let me, hold on. All right. I don't need to do this. I'm looking at my notes, but I don't need to do this because I actually live in the district with the number one high school in San Antonio. And that high school is Alamo Heights. The Alamo Heights mules, that's their mascot, the mules. And it's funny because my wife and I, we, we joke about our son and we say that he's a mule because he's hard headed. He doesn't listen. Yeah, it is what it is. But anyway, how fitting, right? The Alamo Heights mules, the Alamo Heights school district is such a small school district. It is probably the smallest school district in San Antonio. And it has two elementary schools, an early childhood school, uh, one middle school and one high school. But trust me, do not mistaken their size for their effectiveness. It is one of the, not one of, it is the best high school. It is the best school district in San Antonio. Now, that is exactly why we moved there. So I can tell you about Alamo Heights all day long. Uh, look at the link below. Go learn about the school because you'll learn a lot about other programs. They have a robotics program. They have like all kinds of stuff that I'm like, who would do this? Well, they do. And trust me, being a participant in the school system, I know that they really care for the children. They care for their educators. Like we're always showering our educators with all kinds of gifts because they do such a great job. Um, I can't say enough about the educators. I can't say enough about the curriculum. I can't say enough about the community itself. It is like, it's like a small town bundled up in the middle of a big city. 
It really is. So Alamo Heights is just conveniently located. It's just north of downtown San Antonio, probably about three miles away from San Antonio and about three or four miles away from the airport. So it's sandwiched right in the middle. It's perfect. This is why, well, because of the school, but also the location, this is why my wife and I moved there. Now, some of the homes are older and there are some homes that are being rebuilt, but the average home, by the way, in this neighborhood is about $700,000, right? You will find homes that are maybe at 400,000 and then they're gonna go up to the millions. And, but that doesn't matter. Like there's so many, so many neighborhoods. Again, click the link below that shows you Alamo Heights School District homes. And you're gonna see a wide range from 400,000 all the way to the millions. Um, but the average price again is about $700,000. And it's for a reason. Like it's a small town feel, everybody knows everybody, everybody supports the the school district, the high schools, the games. Uh, there's little mom and pop restaurants. There's this pizza, this pizza spot called Julian's Pizza. I love it. I can literally walk there from my house, go grab a pizza pie, walk back home and have dinner. I mean, it's just great. There's another restaurant called Tycoon Flats. My wife and I walk there all the time. We go there, get a burger, you know, have a beer and then we walk back home. So there's just so many things. And if you like shopping, you have Lincoln Heights, which is a bunch of shopping. And then you have the quarry, which is another big shopping center. It's got a theater. It's got Whole Foods. It's got Sprouts and Trader Joe's is around the, the corner. But the best part of it all is H-E-B. If you haven't heard of H-E-B, then you're in for a treat. H-E-B is our dominant grocery store here in San Antonio. But what I love about Alamo Heights is that there's four H-E-Bs and none of them are the same, right? You have Central Market that caters to the holistic, vegan, healthy living, and you can find anything there that's good for you, right? If it's bad for you, it's not gonna be there. But if you just travel a little bit north to Lincoln Heights, there's an H-E-B that just put in a barbecue place. Now, I was just reading reviews. I have not partaken, but I will in the next couple of days. And H-E-B just decided to get into the barbecue game and people are just raving about it. The other H-E-B is called Oak Place. And that is a smaller H-E-B, uh, excuse me, Oak Park. It kind of feels like an old country store. It's very mellow. It's not very busy. I like going there before I come to the office. If I have to pick up anything for the office, like water or creamers or maybe something to snack on, I like going there because it's a really mellow H-E-B. And then the final one is on Austin Highway, which is your traditional H-E-B you're going to find anywhere in San Antonio. So if you live in the Alamo Heights school district or the area, you're going to have a lot of options for grocery stores. You're going to have a lot of options for shopping. But the best part is the school. And the second best part is that you're just centrally located to anything in San Antonio. I can get anywhere in San Antonio within 25 minutes. Right. And that's convenient. That's why we love it there. We love the community. We love the schools. We love the educators. And it's all it's all good. So click on the link below. Check it out. Uh, look at all the programs Alamo Heights School District has, Alamo Heights High School. It's a, it's a phenomenal program. So I promised you I was going to tell you why it's important, whether you have a child or not, to buy a home in a great school district, right? Well, here's in a nutshell, here's why. That is the number one criteria that people give me above everything else when they're looking to buy a home. They say, Jesse, it has to be in a great school district. Well, I just demystified that for you because I gave you the five top high schools in San Antonio. So if you don't buy a home in this area, whether you have a child or not, you are taking a gamble, right? And why do I say that? Well, let's just say that you're a single person or, or maybe you're a family of two and you don't have any children or maybe they're school age, like younger elementary school and all that. Um, well, if you decide to sell the home later, Homes that are in great high schools are going to sell a lot quicker than homes that are in not so great high schools. So think about that. Um, I know San Antonio is a huge city. We're the seventh largest in, in uh, the United States. Uh, there's a lot of areas to cover. There's a lot of homes, a lot of places to live. But trust me, your lifestyle needs to be matched with the right one. So if you don't know where you're moving, to when you're coming to San Antonio. If you're just researching it and you wanna know more, 
give me a favor, give me a call. Uh, oh, hit this QR code right here. This QR code will actually book an appointment where we can jump on Zoom, get to know each other a little bit more, and I can help you and your family find the right place in San Antonio. So I appreciate your time. Uh, keep watching the videos. I love San Antonio. I love you guys for watching. I love you for subscribing and for sharing and for commenting. It just, it, it just, I am honored. I really am. And when you get to meet me, you'll see that who you see here is who you're going to meet. So I can't wait to meet you. Get in contact, go to the website, go check out some homes. And let me tell you real quick, if it asks you to register, which it probably will, don't worry. I'm not going to bug you. I don't bug people. I just try to be a resource. Okay. Now, if you want to talk to me, you can talk to me through the website. You can talk to me through, you know, phone call, email, text, smoke signal. I got you. I got your back when you're moving to San Antonio. Now just check, take a look at the rest of the videos on my channel. Let me know how I can help you. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.